welcome back to another video guys it's february 20 2022 we're doing another gun show here in alaska today's gun show is located in palmer alaska um, roughly about 30 minutes north of anchorage small town here and it's happening at the raven hall um building which is located at the palmer state fairgrounds so this is the fairgrounds where they have the state fairs and all the carnival rides during the fall season and uh during these off season they do all sorts of things they rent this place out and other place around here and do adventure stuff so this is the first this is my first time attending this gun show here in palmer at this um venue it's gonna be pretty fun so let's go see what they have this is the second day um they were they did it yesterday i couldn't make it yesterday so that was the first day and then today is the second day so we're gonna go check it out but before we head on to the gun show i want to give you guys um some tips as a buyer and as a seller so if you guys don't want to watch this part i'll go ahead and put a timestamp where you guys can skip it and jump right to the gun show uh, let me give you guys some tips this is my third <coughs> gun show that i have attended and i've noticed some things and i want to give you guys some tips if you guys are new to these gun shows so if you guys are a consumer like me a buyer <coughs> and you guys are looking to buy things uh bring cash cash is king bring cash uh you know depends on what you're looking to buy ammo guns whatever the case is 100 bucks a thousand bucks whatever your budget is bring cash sometimes some of these venues they don't have like an atm so bring cash <coughs> uh, and then if you're looking to buy stuff uh, bring a bag, a backpack, um, a rifle, case, anything along that line, guys. This isn't your big box store where you can just pick up a cart and just throw all your stuff in. Because when you're buying ammo, buying stuff, you're just going to be holding it. These vendors, uh, they're just your average Joe coming out here, like me, going out here, selling my stuff. They're not your big... Uh, manufacturer like shot show and stuff like that so they don't provide bags and stuff so make sure you bring a backpack i seen people bring backpack i see people bring uh rifles bags sling case uh, to put their guns in that they're buying and i seen people bring in like the dolly carts which is really good too if you can't if you have a bad back and you can't carry stuff you can just bring a dolly cart it's totally fine they let you bring that stuff here so cash bring a bag um bring food um, or bring drinks and snacks some of these vendors sometimes they do have like food vendors and stuff our last vendor i remember they had like chinese food vendors on site um, so just keep that in mind um, if you have kids you're bringing your kiddos um, bring them out but just keep an eye on them make sure they don't touch stuff <laughs> and then um uh always negotiate i mean like say just because something's priced at 100 bucks doesn't mean they're wanting 100 bucks it's it's negotiable just ask them hey can you work a deal out so always talk to the vend vendors and make a deal make a boat deal you know everything's for sale everything's negotiable that's kind of all i can think of right now if i think of anything else i'll add it more into the video as we go on or onto our next video and then some tips for our vendors I, that i've noticed that i've noticed when i'm i'm looking around oh one more thing for um for the consumer it's a gun show guys <clears throat> you can come out here and you can just look there's you're not obligated to buy anything this is a gun show you can come out here if you love guns just take a look at guns and then you can come out here if you want to buy something so it's totally fine you don't have to um you don't you can just come out here and just look at things you don't have to buy anything guys this is the beauty of a gun show one thing for vendors that i've noticed and then when i was looking around i noticed that some vendors sometimes they arrive late so don't arrive late guys you guys should be here earlier than your consumer uh, your audience so arrive early um and get the most out of it put prices always have everything priced make sure you put tags on all your items it makes it much more easier you don't have people asking you hey how much is this how much is this and people they can just look at it if they don't want it they can just move on and then another thing i noticed about these vendors is that some of these vendors they don't really have good people skill communication skill you go up to their table they don't greet you um they don't do nothing so as a vendor if you're a vendor watching this make sure you greet people man hey how you doing today man is there anything else is there anything i can help you find today anything particular you're looking for any ammo any rifle like just greet your audience even if they're just coming by taking a quick look just interact with them and just say hey how you doing today man uh what brings you to the gun show i mean you're looking for a particular gun something like that i worked in customer service so i know retail i work with customer i know how to interact interact with customers i know how to ask questions and i understand that some of these vendors they're just coming out here selling their stuff they don't have any 
you know, retail skills. But the least thing you can do is just say hi to people that's coming to your table because there's a lot of other vendors. So if people are coming to your table, just say hi to them. Hey, how how are you doing, man? What are you looking for today, man? If there's anything, I, um, anything you need, let me know. And there's some vendors that are really great. There's one guy who had like a big, uh, he had tons of guns. And he just said, hey, man, uh, let me know if you need something because he, because, and that's what I like, man. Some of these gun, uh, some of these vendors, they're not pressured. There's, there's, there's people that pressure you to buy things. And so far, I haven't seen any of that in Alaska, which is nice. And then there's people that say, hey, you know, if you need something, just give me a holler. I'm right here, man. So just make sure you greet your audience. So I think that's what I have for the vendors. Um, just some tips for my vendors out there just to help you guys, you know, get the max max interaction with your your customers and then also um just have fun guys if you come to the gun show have fun enjoy it and um i think that's all i think i have right now i think i had one more on top of my head but i just lost it but let's go and take a look at the gun show see what they have for us so it's like five minutes after opening 10 a.m right now 10 13 oh so 15 minutes about 15 minutes since opening <laughs> this parking lot is fully packed already and it's pretty icy, so just make sure you be careful. Lots of ice right here. And this is the Raven Hall. During the State Fair, I I forgot what they do in here. Because um, during the State Fair, usually they'll have like competition, like uh, like plant competition and all sorts of stuff. But I forgot what they did in the Raven Hall. I don't remember what they do in the Raven Hall. And also guys, um, the fee is $7, $7 per person. Wow, guys, this is a pretty nice gun show, man. So our last gun show was in January in Wasilla. And I got to say, man, out in the valley here, they have some way better gun show versus Anchorage. Our first gun show was in Anchorage last December, and it wasn't this big, man. Take a look at this right here. Nice exhibit. Look at that. All the way over here. Pretty nice. They got mag cool. These are aluminum. Lower for 65. Not bad. P mag 11 each. 10 for 100. That's a good price. These are switch blades knife. Woke up at 5.30 and really good pick a nap. This is a really nice one. <laughs> Lots of nice guns out here, guys. And like I said, it's just 15 minutes since opening, and this place is pretty nice. There's lots of folks out here already. And again, this gun show is mixed with, like, um, other stuff, too. People out, are out here selling other non-related guns and some other stuff. Check out some of these ammo here. 30 out 6, $50. 308, 308. Some Tula. There's some East German 762392 box. I like that box, man. That's old school right there. <coughs> some AKs. 2000. <coughs> Nice. This is a nice vendor. They have a this one's really nice. See how the way they have it all laid out? They have the gun label and then all the price are nicely displayed. That's really good. So let's see, they have a 30 out 6, a 308, 308. They have two 308 right here for 625 Winchester. I'm still set on my, uh, my 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 rifle that I want, my Tika T3X. Some nice handguns here. <coughs> so guys, this is a big gun. <laughs> this is a pretty decent sized gun show. There's lots of guns out here, so I'm not gonna go and film every single piece. Um, just want to give you guys a general idea of what's out here um, Give you guys a general idea of what prices are going for as far as pricing everything is fairly priced I mean all these are like under 400 under $500 um, 
they got a lot of stuff, man. If you guys are looking for something, come out here and check it out. Like, this is a great table right here. They have all the guns labeled up, 22 rifles. And it's all nicely categorized. It's all staged in 22 and caliber, you know. These are all 243, C243. Work its way up. 10% off, 30 or 6, 30 or 6 right here. <coughs> A nice 30 out 6 so this one is what 325 for this one that's not bad at all this is a tika oh this is a nice one this is probably what i was looking for tika 3 t3 650 this is a good one this is a stainless steel So that Tika 30-06 is really nice. I got their information down. Maybe I'll get it next week or sometime. Didn't really come out here planning to buy anything. There's a nice moose shed right here. Natural shed right here. Here's some ammo. 30 <laughs> 6 30-06, 30 6 Here's some new items. You see people sell a uh, new item, used item, mix of everything. <laughs> McKinley Mountain Muzzle Loader Rifle Club. These guys have been in the last couple shows, so looks like they're pretty consistent with all the gun shows. It's nice to see this. It's nice to see the same vendor because it shows that uh, they participate a lot in the gun shows. <clears throat> stuff right here these look like they're all new right here 1944 a Tabor SAR I'll start over here you guys are okay, these are nice right here all your AR platform no shortage here this is a SIG M400 1250 <coughs> That's a Savage Ultralight 110 6.5 PRC. Good luck buying this one because you're not going to find ammo right, right now, man. Nobody's buying 6.5 rifle because it's so hard to find 6.5 Primo right now. This is beautiful. That's one of the downsides about some of these nice rifles. Definitely get your ear going, though. It's nice stuff, man. I love this barrel here. It looks so beautiful. I want to get one of these one day. They're nice. Looks like an alien, alien gun for some reason. I hope you guys are enjoying the gun show, man. Make sure you guys subscribe for more gun shows in the future. Man, this is a nice one. I think, I, I think this is one of my favorite gun shows so far out of the two other gun shows we've done so far. This one just has a lot of selection. Sig. 1250, 700. So they're doing a background right here. <coughs> All firearms. So this one says don't handle. Some vendor says don't handle. Where are you guys? Are you guys in? Where are you guys based in? Palmer or Wasilla? And it's Freedom Armory. Yes. Got gotcha. you. So Freedom Army in Wasilla. So they have a lot of new guns here. So um, every vendor is different. They have some vendors where they don't want you to handle the firearms unless you ask. And then some vendors you're more than welcome to handle. But you also want to make sure you ask the vendors first if you want to take a look at anything particular. It's just uh, it's just gun show etiquettes. <laughs> yeah, these are really nice. Freedom Army. I think this is the first time I've seen this vendor out here. <clears throat> Lots of nice gun. That M and P's 428. So everything's fairly nicely priced. Let's take a look at the Glocks here. This is the Glock 20 G4 680, uh, G29 G4 620, and G45 
520. <laughs> Not that at all. Ooh, this is a nice one here. This is a G20. It's a G20 735. And then Glock 23 and very nice right here. Sauce. It looks like this venue does have a pay phone in case you need to call your wife for permission. And also, they do have a credit card machine right here. <laughs> All brass and reloads. Tons of brass. These brass are clean too. They're not dirty or anything. Yeah, these are all clean brass, and look, it's all been uh the prime the primer has all been taken out. It's ready for reloading. It's really nice. <coughs> Nighthawk custom gun raffle. A lot of raffles out here. All right, guys, keep moving, man. This is the big gun show. We're just we're just showing you guys one side right now. There's still another side over there. <laughs> Fire starter kit. That's nice. This is a good way to label your guns. It makes it nice and big. What model, what price you want. You can see some folks out here with backpacks. You see how this gentleman here has a backpack. Um, I'd say he's ready to buy things. Is this all yours? <laughs> no, that's all belonging to Corey down there. My okay. cable's right here. So what you looking at down there? Sold the, sold some ammo for him and put it underneath that <laughs> ammo cart. Yeah, I like it. I'll make sure he gets it. Some ammo right here. Seven mil. You guys are having a hard time finding ammo, man. Come out to the gun shows. They might have something for you guys. 338 right here. I think a lot of people are looking for this right here. That's $10 or 110 You can't really read it. You know, by the time you put a loaded 30 <laughs> Caliber 223, 8 mil, 500, Mossberg 556. How you doing? Good, good. Nice selection here. Winchester. Check that out, man. Here's some nice custom ones. Nice engraving, $2,500 for that snubby. Northland Cerakote. Cerakote. Really nice. There's some brass right here. There's some ammo right here. How you doing? Good. No primer. Haven't seen any primer or powder. Here's a here's a reload machine right here. Great northern knives. Some really nice knives right here. I, I posed for pictures. I only charged four dollars. <laughs> nice. 
guys. Lots of stuff out here, guys. Here's another view of the gun show. Lots of people out here. Lots of people coming out to the gun show, man. They got new stuff, old stuff. Mix of everything. These are all old school muzzle loader. Don't really have a price on these. Well, some of them have prices on it, but there's some jams. And then uh, they also sell some clothing, military surplus stuff. <clears throat> Lots of good knives. I just love listening to uh, side conversation when people are talking about guns and stuff. It's always interesting. <coughs> These are nicely labeled. Naked model. <coughs> Price. Winchester 1895, 2200, 30 06, 2600. These old school Winchester, man, they hold their value. I'm not an expert, but I know for sure these old school Winchester, they are like up in the $2,000 price point. So if your dad or your grandpa has one in the basement, man, you might want to take a look at it. it might be sitting on a gold mine. <laughs> oh my God, this is so hard to find, guys. Look at this. Nosler white tip. Wait, is this the white tip? Yeah, this is Nosler 308. Those, this particular brand is hard to find. I haven't seen these for a while. What are, what are they selling these for? Yeah, this is a white tip Nosler right here. Fifty nine dollar. That's a good price for. Uh, that's a good price because you can't find that stuff nowadays. That's crazy. That's. I've been looking for this stuff for a while. In town, nobody has it in town. All the big box. <coughs> Dung ho stock. <coughs> Savage 22 250 1400 with ammo. This is a nice one. Look at that stainless steel. Looks heavy though, man. That's something you don't want to take out hunting, hiking. <coughs> this one here comes with a box of uh, box of ammo. Here's a 357 Magnum. <laughs> Sale price 800. Uh, Springfield 45. 375. Not bad. Brand new. Ruger 375 Mag. 620. New. Stainless. Yeah, some Savage 65. Pre War 550 ish. The other tip I wanted to give you guys as a consumer is that you always want to show up early and on the first day you want the best deals and also you want to show up on the last day at the last few hours because sometimes these vendors might want to get rid of their stuff for cheaper so come on both day early and late guys Winchester 12 gauge 22 down here I think these guys come with a box of ammo they have the box right there that's the that's one way to sell a gun nowadays include some ammo because we all know about the ammo shortage here some uh, old school canteens Lots of great vendors out here today, man. Lots of great vendors. It's good to see some new stuff. <laughs> so you guys can see here, man. It's a mix of old guns, new guns, new. A little bit of everything, man. A little bit, a little bit of everything for everyone. There's a coat right here, a thousand dollar. 870 Magnum, 870 12 gauge, 340. That's a good price. <laughs> There's some actually good deals out here, man. Like great prices and great fine. It's just a matter of do you need it. $25 for 6.5, 270 Winchester. 
And two, two, three, 13 bucks a box. Eh, that's fair. That's what the market's going for right now. 300. A lot of people were looking for 300 Win Mag. Take a look at that, man. Take a photo of this right here for y'all. Some brass. A bunch of brass right here. Don't tell me you've used those too. <laughs> oh, but I did. I wasn't. <laughs> Take a quick video. Any questions or anything? What are these? Uh, these are Marley's uh, Youth Models 3030. This right here is Northland Terracote. I spoke with the owner here and uh, he gave me some information on what it is, some benefits, and yeah, super amazing. Make sure you guys check them out. Too fancy for my need, but definitely nice for anybody that wants to uh, make their gun look nice and pretty and last long. That is that is cool. This display was at the last gun show here. This one here is more of a uh, history, gun show history. So you can come out here and look at some history, guys. <coughs> Not for sale, or uh, Ro Romania, 76254, origin Egypt. Look at the way these stocks are, man. They're just so old school. Like the way, if you look at the way guns have developed over the years, it's just crazy, man. The technologies and just the look of guns in general, rifles, handguns. And like I said, man, pretty soon we're going to see alien guns. There's already people out there making guns that shoot electricity or high power electricity. It's crazy, man. <coughs> Display only, not for sale. Do not hand a weapon without permission. <coughs> These are nice, man. It's nice that people come out here and just show off their guns. That's super awesome. Look at the length of this barrel. Holy smoke. That's like a what? 10 inch barrel. That's crazy. Wanted Jeep parts. <laughs> uh, that's nice. Look at that. This guy here wants some Jeep parts, guys. Help him out. Now I feel like I know nothing about those anymore. Lots of people out here with their families and kids. This right here is a uh, gas operated belt fed <laughs> machine gun. 1961, 762. That's really nice. I'm assuming you guys got way more collection not out here today. Oh yeah. <laughs> Where are you guys based at? Um, the club is in Anchorage, Eagle River. Okay. Um, a, little, a couple in Wasilla. Okay. Nice. It's a AMGA. Mm -hmm. Nice. What Alaska, is that? What is Alaska, that? Alaska Machine. It's been a long day already. Yeah. Alaska Machine Gun Association. So you guys have a lot of machine guns. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Do you guys offer like to people come out and shoot? I mean, um, I live like four minutes in Birchland Range. Uh -huh. um, I'll come out and shoot if I'm out there and you have ammo uh -huh. in the factory. I'll let you shoot it. Oh wow! We do a shoot on the Fourth of July at Birchwood, uh -huh. and we do a big shoot up in Anderson on the uh, Memorial Day weekend. That one we blow up cars and shit. Is that the one where you guys jump the cars off? That's not the one where you guys jump it off the. Um... No, that's completely different. That's the... yeah. So no, where's that's on Fourth of July? That's in that's up by some somewhere. some yeah some yeah no. I, no, that's not us. Yeah. Um, no, we, we have cars up there. We shoot the cars. Uh, we pull the roofs off the tannerite and stuff. Wow. Yeah. So we'll have to check that out, man. It's a long ride, but it's fun. You'll see stuff there you don't see anywhere mm -hmm. else. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I bet. <coughs> this is nice right here. AMGA. This is where you can find all the machine guns in Alaska. I've been telling people, man, with somebody, sh I'm not sure if anybody's done it yet, but somebody should do it where tourists can come up and shoot. There were supposed to be a place. Place like that? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Spoke with one of the members out here. Cool guy. Talked a lot about machine guns and stuff. <coughs> Military surplus rifles of the world. I don't think these are for sale. They just have a lot of history notes on it. All you folks that are older than me and might know a little bit more of these histories go ahead and leave us a comment down below if you guys see something interesting a lot of people can just look at a gun don't know right away what it is uh, I'm not quite there yet guys some people are there yet and I'm not quite there yet 
Russia. Lots of guns from Russia and like that um, that tip of the world, man. All right, so let's see what we got here. We uh we finished that whole side. We're still working on this end of the corner, and then we'll get to the middle. The middle is more of a miscellaneous. You got a lot of people doing other stuff here, like jam and jelly, which is pretty cool, man. That's like that's awesome too. <clears throat> Take a look at this. <coughs> Winchester 1895, 1500. <coughs> This guy has some nice displays right here. 1022, 325. So those 300 uh, Win Mag box that I showed you guys earlier, those weren't ammo. Those were just the brass. The gentleman was just selling the brass, not the ammo. I asked him how much it was. He's like, oh, it's just the brass. For like 12, 10 bucks, I think. But this right here is gold, man. If anybody wants that, come get it. There's 300 Blackout too, 308 Subsonic. Yep, those Nosler, man. Those are pretty hard to find. And like I said, a lot of these vendors, they don't have credit card machines. So make sure you bring out cash. Lots of knives. Yeah, sp I spoke with a few vendors, man. They just been super awesome. They just love to talk about what they're doing, what they have, and that's what makes it awesome, man. There's some vendors that don't talk to you much, but a few of the ones I've been talking to, they're all cool. Fox sauce. Box sauce, barbecue sauce. <coughs> Some empty tables right here. Yeah, this is a big show, man. I like it. And some uh, old school artifacts or antiques. <coughs> Take a look at this nicer. Fifteen dollars for a knife. That's not bad. That's a really nice one. I want to get me something like this right here. This is good for skinning and stuff. 15 bucks for that one. Not bad at all. Africa Hunters. Um, well, you know, let me contact him when you're done with this. Take a look at this guy here, man. Look at all the stuff he has shot. And guess where he's at right now? Email anytime. He's right here. This is my antique cell phone. I'm rarely ever on a cell. My home phone's on there. I'm home every evening. And, uh, you know, I don't, I don't charge for anything for somebody like help me. I'm home every evening. Give me a call on my landline. That's so awesome, man. He's straight up old school, man. All right, so that's about it for the gun show. We kind of walked around there where saw a little bit of everything. I'm pretty sure we missed out some stuff. Signature. I'm gonna tell you what. Let me write down this information on here real quick. These are pretty nice, cool targets realistic target <laughs> I'm not sure who these people are but it's pretty awesome 650 You can see this gentleman here, he bought a rifle and he's just holding it the way it is. So that's why I said bring a bag, bring a gun case or something. But I I just you'd rather have wouldn't. Ten dollars a box for two two three. I never seen this 
uh, brand of ammo before. So you know the Nice leather. This guy's a buyer. He has a backpack. Take a look at some of this right here. Lots of ammo can. Eight dollars a box for these small ones, and ten dollars a box for these guys. This is a pretty good price. Ten bucks is what the going rate is. Usually they charge a bit more, like twelve dollars at the surplus store. It's been one hour since we've been here already. And this parking lot is getting more and more packed. That's gonna be it for today's gun show video. I hope you guys enjoyed this gun show in Palmer, Alaska. This is definitely one of my favorite ones. I think they just had a lot more selection uh, compared to our past gun show. But hey, it gets better and better. Let me know what you guys saw that you guys like. Let me know what you guys uh, think about the pricing, some of their selection. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.